What's up guys, I am Dematic and I'm very excited to be running through the next Lessons of Dharma tutorial with you all, talking about the making of the breakdown in my brand new collaboration, Shikuchi with Uberjacked. <laughs> First, I'm going to show you all the beginning of the breakdown. I wanted to aim for something quite mystical, so I decided to layer some washed out hardstyle impacts, followed by music box plucks. The music box synth is processed with an EQ, a doubler to widen the sound, Ableton's inbuilt reverb, Waves one knob wetter plugin, and a simple delay with a 4-2 delay time to add some unusual panning effects. Here's a quick listen with the effects chain off. On. Also, if you can't notice, when the music box pluck begins, the tempo is slowed down from 129 to 63 BPM. This tempo change really helped add to the mysterious vibe here. Next, I bring in some dither low in the mix. I introduce a sitar stab, followed by the drums and vocal chant, which begin to filter through the mix before opening up in the next phrase. I really wanted to add a lot of emotion in the next section before breaking into the rave section. So I add a choir, a mid horn, a low horn, a violin lead, big tribal hits which I used in my track Giratina, and chopped up with some alternate tribal hits. The next section, my goal is to turn all that emotion from the previous break section into some hands up energy. So I conclude the emotion with a final tom hit and automate some delay onto it to help it decay. I then introduce the reverse reverb from the rave sound. However, I added some automated panning to help add some energy. My anthem section in this breakdown is quite detailed. The lead is five layers, the chord three layers, and the bass four layers. The lead is laid with a high saw, a high saw with some LFO and cutoff automated, a pluck type synth with a nice click and attack to cut through the mix, a vocal chop, and a sliding legato lead. The chords are layered from a present dry layer, a low to mid filtered chord, and a higher octave chord which is widened a lot to add some space to the mix. This is how the leading chord group sounds together. Now I have my bass group. The top layer is three arps which I've consolidated together to make one sound. Then I have my mid bass which really punches through the mix. I have a second mid to high bass layer. And then of course my sub bass. Here's how the bass group sounds together.
I was very happy with how everything was sounding so far, but I needed some more elements to really nail that hands up vibe that I was aiming for in this anthem section. So I introduced the following elements. A punchy kick. Crash one. The second layered crash. This pitch bend. Two drum fills. When they play together, they sound like this. A reverse cymbal. A snare hit. And an orchestral tom. Here's how the percussion and effects group sounds together. Once I had everything laid out, there was a few extra mix techniques I used to tighten everything up and glue some sounds together, which I want to show you guys. On my Rave Sounds group, I have one of my personal chains on there, which is just the Ableton glue compressor and the infected mushroom pusher. It's a very simple chain I use on my groups where necessary, and as you can hear, it really helps fatten the group of leads. Here's how it sounds with no effect chain. And with the effect chain, it sounds like this. Next, which to me was one of the most important elements of the breakdown, is automating the volume when the drum fills come in so there is no reverb or decay clashing with the drum fills so they can really pump through the mix. There are many different ways you can do this, but in this case, I just automated the volume down like so on the groups. Well, that's a wrap today, and I hope all you up-and-coming producers out there learned something from me. Please do be sure to check out part two of The Making of Shikuchi, where Uberjack will explain how he made the drop and some other elements on another Lessons of Dharma video. And of course, please do go check out the final finished version of Shikuchi. If you guys want to keep in touch with what I'm up to and where I'm touring, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Snapchat. A big thank you to Kashmir and the Dharma team for giving me this opportunity today. Until next time, I am Dematic. Thank you and keep working hard.